Man, you, you want to know how I got this scar right here on my neck? I, forgot, I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? I got, I got a little scar here on my neck somewhere, right? Quick story about Jose, man. Rest in peace, Jose, man. You know, I, I don't like 2023, man. Started off with Marvin. Rest in peace, Marvin. And then Big Mike. Rest in peace, Big Mike. <laughs> and then now Daniel, you know what I'm saying? Rest in peace, Daniel David. You know what I'm saying? And rest in peace to Jose, man. He just fucking passed away. So Jose gave me this scar. We was fighting one day. You know what I'm saying? We still, we with Josh, man. Shout out Josh. Shout out Car. Shout out everyone. I love y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, don't take, don't take life for granted, man. You know what I'm saying? Some people got it worse than others, bro. Some people try to cry out for help and tell people when motherfuckers be too busy. And I get it. We all got lives. I work. I do some business. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I'm not sure. You know, I got to be attentive to my kid when she, you know what I'm saying? And shit like that. You always got to be through y'all on every aspect, right? But yeah, back to this scar though, right? Um, <laughs> So we were working at Crystal J. This is like, what, 2000? I was there. I was there right after I got out, like 2000. I was there from 2012 to like 2000. I was like there, well, probably, two, yeah, 2012 to, to like 2016 or something like that, right? But anyways, man, we was working there, right? So we we helped set up this restaurant called Crystal Jade, right? They only got them in Asia, bro. And the sponsors was Hennessy, Moet, and Louis Vuitton, right? Oh, I'll never forget this shit, bro. So we helped build it from the ground up. This is how I met Jose, because I, cause I was fucking with uh, Josh and Carr, right? You know, I was living in the town with them. You know what I'm saying? So I was there and we was all working together. We was grinding it out. Woo, woo, woo. And then we made money. You feel me? So then we go grind it out. So so then we we heard we heard about this restaurant called Crystal J. So Josh's best friend is that nigga Jose. Man, Papa. You know what I'm saying? So 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 then <laughs> we became hella cool throughout the years, bro. And then uh, he had this spot out in uh, what was it? I want to say San, uh, South City, San Mateo, on the borderline, right? So, so, we, so we in there drinking and we partying and shit, right? So then he had some bitches over, man. And then, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, he had some bitches over, right? So he get to flexing with the bitches. So me and him going, wow, 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 whatever. This nigga sharp ass nail nigga went like, ah, hell, I was like, oh, what? Yo, you know what I'm saying? Nah, that's, that's brother, though. You know what I'm saying? That's brother, though. Yeah, so I got this scar right here because of him. Man, rest in peace, Papa, man. I'm so sorry, man. My condolences to everyone. I know everyone got, man, it just hit home today. You feel me? Because it's not fair. It's not fair, bro. You feel me? It's, it, it really ain't fair. You got good niggas out there that's doing dumb shit, bro. You feel me? Man, you know what I'm saying? Just look out for people. Sometimes a motherfucker just want to express themselves, you know, and then they don't have people to talk to. So when they talk to people, they sound all, ah, hey, hey, oh, oh, you know, all over the place, bro. You know what I'm saying? Just put that in consideration, bro. You know what I'm saying? Especially with all this fucking whack shit that's happening with the mental illness, bro. This shit just, it just really hit home, bro. It's 2023, bro. And I lost a lot of good niggas, bro. A lot, I'm sorry, a lot of good people, a lot of good sisters, a lot of good brothers, you know what I'm saying? And it's, man, bro, it's all good, bro. You know, every every creed, every race, I fucks with them all, man. It's just so sad, bro. I'm tired of seeing motherfuckers die. Good motherfuckers dying, bro. Because they got some fucking mental illness and don't know want to talk to them because they seem crazy. Or maybe they is on dope or something. You never know. Maybe he got PTSD from killing niggas. Maybe he did some time. Maybe, you know, just, just hear someone out sometimes, bro. You know what I'm saying? I used to work at the shelter system, right? Over there on Polk and Gary, man. And, uh, yeah, I was a service plan coordinator, man. You know, he used to fuck with the, with the, yeah, bro. So we used to hear them out, bro. I swear to God that the, the, the shelter, bro, it looked like a little, it, it, it looked like fucking a tear. You know what I'm saying? And, and and my position was like the the deputy of that tier. You know, we had to wear the badges and shit. I shit you not, bro. Ask motherfuckers that live in the shelter, bro, how it really looked like. It looked like county jail, bro. Just in a free environment. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, man, it's 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 it's, it's crazy, man. You know, and then I you know, you just see everything. You know, you learn des de escalation, you learn how to talk to people in a certain way. That's that's really mental sickness, bro. And they got really mental 
illness, you know what I'm saying? Trust me, I know, man. I just was out there, too. I didn't give a fuck. But I got all that training. I got that shit under my belt and everything. That's what people don't know, though. Motherfucker see some ghetto motherfucker like me act like he don't know nothing. Man, you don't know what type of jobs I've done, what type of experience I've got, what type of people I've dealt with. You know, don't ever underestimate no one. Don't ever judge a book by its cover. That's fucking rude. But yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Just look out for people, bro. Just look out for people because you never know, man. You never know, bro. You might have saved someone's life with one little conversation you had. And you don't even know it. Stay blessed, y'all. Life's too short. Don't take that shit for granted. Rest in peace to everyone that's lost everyone out there, to all the loved ones. I'm sorry, but today here, home.